Django 5.0 is out and it's full of goodies, including database level defaults, reusable field groups, and much, much more. Let's start with DB default, which has been on Django's wish list for 18 years. When a field has a default, you might expect it to also exist on the database schema. But, nah, -uh, there's no default on this database column. Instead, Django passes this default as a parameter every time it adds a new row to the table. But now, in Django 5.0, I can set DB default value, and after migrating, I can see the default value on the database schema. If you love this feature, you can thank Lily Foot for bringing this into Django. <laughs> Next up, let's talk about generated fields, a new way to manage calculations in Django. Let's say I have a booking model with start and end dates, and I need to calculate booking durations. I might make a model method to calculate duration, or I can update my model manager and have this annotated onto the query set. But with both of these options, the field doesn't exist on the database, so I can't index it. But now, I can use a generated field for this scenario. This field is kept up to date automatically by the database. I can choose to persist this, which means I can index it. Now, this calculation has to be deterministic, which means it can only be, well, determined by the values in that row. So it can't rely on who is updating it, or when is it being updated? It can't rely on other rows or other tables. Got it? Got it. I've linked a great article by Paolo, which has loads of examples of generated fields that can inspire you. There's loads more ORM features, including more options for declaring model field choices, such as callables and mappings. Update or create has a new argument, create defaults, which allows specifying different field values in the create case. And my personal favorite, prefetch related now supports prefetching generic foreign keys with non-homogeneous result sets. Let's move on to forms. Here I have a really basic form, just one field with some help text. When I render this form in a Django template, I see this field with its label and help text wrapped in a div. Now, I wonder what happens when I just render my form's field. Wait, what? I don't have my label or my help text, I just have an input here. Uh, I have this form and I just want to tweak the layout a bit, put a couple of fields side by side, but Django can't help me. I'm going to have to rewrite this whole form in HTML. Or do I? As of 5.0, we can render a field with its label, help text and errors by using as field group. And if you don't like Django's template for field group, you can use your own. You can set this on a form field level by setting the field's template name to the file containing your HTML snippet. Or you can set this as your project default by updating your form renderer setting. David Smith has been improving forms in Django over the past few releases. He's also the maintainer of Django Crispy Forms, which means he really gets our form needs. Thank you so much, David. <laughs> The release manager of Django 5.0 was Natalia Bidat, the new Django fellow. This is also her first time as release manager, so congratulations, Natalia. She is working alongside Marish Feliciak as one of the two fellows that takes care of Django. The releases simply wouldn't happen without them. Now we have to talk about Carlton. For the last five years, we had uh, a great pleasure uh, to have another Django fellow, 
the most professional, kind, friendly person that I uh, personally know. Fortunately, Django is so much more than a framework. Django is a community, and Carlton's always going to be a big part of that. Carlton, I really hope you're enjoying making things with Django rather than maintaining it. And thank you so much for your time as a fellow. We all really appreciate it. Talking community, 204 people contributed to this release. I've barely scratched the surface. So go read the release notes and try out 5.0.